Hello guys and welcome to our first episode of our journey through the human cell. Today we're going to be talking about the nucleus, which is located in the green and circled area. The nucleus consists of six main parts, the nucleolus, the nucleoplasm, the chromatin, the outer membrane, the inner membrane, which make up the envelope, and the nuclear pores. Starting with the nucleolus. The nucleolus is a body located within the nucleus, obviously, either in its center or at its sides within the interior. And it contains rRNA for ribosomes, the ribosomal RNA. So in there, the pre-ribosomes are being produced to then develop to actual ribosomes. The ribosomes will be explained in another video. The nucleoplasm isn't too different from the cytoplasm. It is a liquid within the nucleus where the chromatin, where every, every single part of the nucleus is located. The chromatin, which consists of the chromosomes, the X and Y chromosomes, you may already know them. Although uh, you have to say that the Y chromosomes aren't actually shaped Y chromosomes. They're not shaped like a Y. They're just smaller X chromosomes. The outer membrane and the inner membrane, which make up the envelope. Uh, the envelope just keeps the nucleus unclosed so that it keeps being in one part and it prevents things from leaving or entering the nucleus unauthorized. And then last but not least, there are the nuclear pores. These are little holes in the envelope. They allow certain materials to leave or enter the nucleus, but they won't just flow around. They have to be required in some way to either leave or enter. Otherwise, they shall not pass. Another important job the nucleus has is the transcription from DNA to mRNA. This process is important for the protein biosynthesis but the transcription will be covered in another video.